All right, welcome everyone. This is Rajdeesh Gupta, and with me I have Jamin Patak. This is the series on Security Plus exam mock test. Okay, and uh, this is the second uh, video on this. And um, let 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 us know how you what's your experience. Do you like it? Do you uh, if you have any suggestion, you have any feedback, let us know. And um, if you want us to keep coming up with such video every other day. or uh, you know please follow us please subscribe us please subscribe us on the youtube channel and um, you know press the bell icon so that the moment we publish a new video on this on the series you get notified okay so without taking much time let's get started all right so first of all hey jamin how are you hello rajnish i am good how are you good 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 so today is our second module huh? second module on the security plus exam so we'll do the exact same style of mock test okay let me share my screen and uh, okay then let's get started okay is the second module and this has 16 question and um, let's get started so this is the very first question uh, which is uh, during application development archi a software designer added shortcut entry point to allow rapid code evaluation and testing if archi does not remove them before application development what could happen okay so we have four option backdoor access scheming man in the middle attack downgrade attack Let's remove something which is not possible. What do you say, Jamin? I think um, yes, uh, I will, uh, scheming is related to stealing card. the card info. Yeah, right. Credit card information, right? Man in the middle attack is related to layer uh, two, and people. I think because there is no two parties, nothing uh, has been talked right. about somebody else, right? Right. Um, downgrade no. attack. I'm not too many. Is uh, downgrading yeah. the version and by rolling back uh, yeah, of this yeah. device is running vendor. So I will uh, go with the backdoor access, which is first one. Yeah, because in the backdoor, uh, sometime, uh, sometime it is intentionally created so that a developer can access the software whenever he wants. But if it is left as it is, then even a hacker can also access the software, right? Right. that's the right answer okay now uh let's go to the next module uh or of the following which can most easily be thought of uh, thought of as a very large set of pre computed hash value for every possible combination of characters characters that is able to reverse cryptographic hash function uh rat is not the one because rat is malware right so it's remote, remote access, access uh, what's the yeah trojan trojan yeah dictionary i think it has the list of uh, value but All it is limited right based on the possible guesses i think rambo table should be the right answer what do you say correct okay Let's see there. Okay, perfect. Yep. So Rambo table is the right answer because this is the most easily be thought of very large computed value. Next, Tony. Okay, Tony is this Grantland developer who has been fired. So bad to hear that. So sad to hear that. Before he left the company. he planted software design to execute he planted the software designed to execute malicious actions on his birthday uh, what did he plant um uh, birthday gift uh well okay. i mean if somebody you know i think most of the folks would go for birthday attack isn't it yeah but by in the options it uh, they definitely but a birthday, birthday attack is related to cryptographic, cryptographic attack that's attack. That, so that's, that's where people lot. might get confused right uh bot is, is not the one yeah i think logic bomb is right because 
with logic berm it's like a malware where we can set some conditions right correct over here the condition is of uh, his birthday, birthday. date correct correct yeah okay so yeah so looks like this is the right one okay perfect this is the right one yeah let's go to next module uh, an attacker is trying every word in the dictionary to access your system what specific attack is occurring of course that's dictionary itself right because Hello. uh hybrid yeah yeah so dictionary is should be the right answer okay what is the best way to protect users from usb drop attacks and many other threats or attacks against an organization i think uh I don't think any anything would really works even even if you update the operating system it's irrelevant uh updating anti malware won't work so work. I think awareness training should be the right one because if people are aware they might not uh, you know take those uh USB and plug it to their computer correct correct so I think this should be the right answer um which consists of large set of pre computed hash values for every possible combination of characters i think a rambo table should be the one because with rambo table we have a huge of data right ransomware Not is a malware system. yeah so i think yeah this should be the yeah perfect seventh bob bob the builder uh, we have bob the security analyst has recently discovered a cryptographic method of attack against a secure hash what type of attack has he identified hmm um uh, scheming the again is related to uh card stealing card information i think it's birthday birthday is related to birthday attack is related to uh getting the hash values right a uh, cryptographic attack so i think yeah is related to cryptographic attack against the secure hash yeah so that that's the really right answer okay recently a company has been has been facing issue from malicious usb drop attack uh, what mitigation can be implemented in windows and your company to prevent unknowing users from spreading malware as a result of plugging in malicious media we have to choose to uh, so for sure user education i think we covered that in one of the earlier questions as well and uh, root and kit, it doesn't make sense i think if we turn off the auto play it will not even you know be detected automatically right correct perfect yeah so that's the right answer yeah let's go to the next one which of the following take adv takes advantage of weak security link in the manufacturing process in order to ultimately cause harm to a targeted customers or organization uh well i mean when it comes to the manufacturing process there are multiple parties involved so third party and everyone where our manufacturing company take the raw material and they coordinate there is a supply chain there is enterprise resource planning so i think supply chain attack is more relevant a machine learning crypto jacking is not relevant at all so look at the answer perfect uh adel a novish hacker wants to install a piece of software that can be hidden on a target computer in order to compromise the system and gain es escalated privileges such as administrative rights what will what will help her achieve her goal i think of course rootkit because rootkit allow uh, you know a persistent connection with the target attack so that you know that can uh, that allow the attacker to get the administrative access so i think rootkit should be the one because rootkit itself came in from the root access right so once this kind of a malware get installed it gives the attacker a root privileges 
So yeah. Yeah. Um, what type of Trojan monitors and sends keystroke type from the infected machine? Hmm. Keystroke. Yeah, I mean and... that's pretty obvious, right? Keylogger. Key I don't know why I'm thinking so much even I okay. So keylogger should be the right answer, correct? Because file logic bum, as we discussed, there's a logic on the malware execution. Fileless is related to memory, right? So when the any malware is hidden in the memory and execute from there itself. Macro is related to, I think, spreadsheet word document where we have scripts and everything. So keylogger should be the right answer. Perfect. Which of the following gives a malware an opportunity to automatically generate instruction when the Microsoft Word document launched? Just now I said, right? So macros, macros should be the right answer, correct? Because rest registry is related to the um, H keys and everything, the Windows registries, right? Uh, so yeah, I think this should be the right answer. Yeah, perfect. Carol uh, is reading about a newer attack type that resides in the memory and uses the system own vulnerabilities, vulner uh, sorry, own vulnerable services and programs such as Windows, po Windows PowerShell or WMI to uh, allow the attacker to infiltrate the system. What type of malware is she reading about? As just said, fileless malware because that resides in the memory okay so in fact other other files are stored as a file somewhere in the hard disk or somewhere right worm is like self-replicating malware so it's spread across the network perfect okay what is this the well-known wanna cry style window ransomware. <laughs> it's definitely a ransomware and the another name would be crypto malware because yeah it's a crypto based malware not because it's asking you crypto in money it's because it's encrypt the file and using cryptographic can. algorithm um that's perfect that's the right answer let's go to the next one trent ask you what is the difference between a worm and virus? How would you how would you best explain the difference to him? Yeah, I, I think I just said right. Worm is self replicating, so worm worm. Yeah, self replicating. Exactly the same. Okay, so perfect. That's the right answer. What do you say, Jimmy? Yep, you got it correctly. <laughs> oh yeah, it's done. Let's go to the next one. Sally is using malware to deliver malicious crypto mining software in order to use distributed resources of others as a part of botnet to mine for cryptocurrency. What specific type of attack is she using? What do you think, Jevin? Well, uh, definitely botnet is not there, the second option. Spyware is, uh, we know that spying something uh, without uh, his or her knowledge. Uh, maybe the first and last option I will think Botnet about. Botnet is like a use in the DDoS attack, right? Yeah, right. I mean, it's like a DDoS system, uh, virus itself, but it's like a botnet is used like an attacking army for uh, as a part of denial of service attack. Uh, so it shouldn't be the one. Uh, spyware, yes. Right, so I think the projecting crypto that was a bit correct. projecting, yeah, perfect, perfect. Right, so that's the right answer. So we completed all the 16 questions. All mm -hmm. right, so I'm so happy. All right, so I, if you guys have any questions, uh, do let us know in the comment. And if you have any query about any of the questions that we have covered, you have any feedback, do let us know. Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we publish a new video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.